Hi, this is Dr. Shweta Aradhyaya. Welcome to Limitless Brain Lab and Channel, where we talk about neuroscience in daily life. I want every single person to lead a healthy, happy, and joyous life. So join me in this journey. And today's topic, as I promised, is going to be about memory. Most of you, most of you, come to me in my clinical practice and say that, Doc, my memory is an issue. I can't remember facts. I can't remember things. So what can I do? There's something called the Google effect. Let's keep talking and chatting about it. Until the end of the topic, I am going to give you some secrets where you can have your memory absolutely rocking. I'm sure you must have seen some memory shows. I had the opportunity to see this beautiful show of Ashtavadan. So eight things or hundred, uh, there's also Shatavadan, 100 things where the person can remember. And uh, I was uh, fortunate to meet one of the peak performer who's also a part of our library in the Limitless Brain Lab, Dr. Kalai Sherian. And I am going to uh, post uh, his amazing work. He lives in Chennai. And when I talked to him and I looked at his show, I was completely mind blown. In the show, there is complex mathematics being asked to him. He's crafting a sculpture. He's actually talking to people. There's somebody tapping his shoulder. He's playing chess and all these things he remembers in the reverse order as well. Now imagine the attention that is required. Today, if I ask you, can you please take down the number? You will say, hold on doc. You'll try to go and get the pen and a paper. But you, did you ever wonder in that 10 digit what a, a normal number has, a phone number has, why was the phone number not 15 digit long or you know 20 digit long? It was because your and mine digit span is roughly about 9 to 10 digits. So we should be able to remember that number. But we still go to either putting it in the phone or putting into the pen and paper because we think we cannot remember it. Now, when I, when I watched this show and obviously we took his brain into the lab and then we studied his brain, he's one of those peak performers brain where absolute symmetry, balance, there's all the things right happening. He's one of those guys who is producing also theta, which otherwise would be in the trance state, in the awake. So all the right things of that peak performers brain in his brain was seen. Absolutely mesmerizing two hours of that memory show what I watched and I was wondering and I was I was thinking to myself why are people then worried about dementias when all this is possible Alzheimer's dementia is where you lose not just memory but your orientation your judgment your capacity to understand things your insights Alzheimer's dementia is going to be a big 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 threat for people 1700 percentage increase which is going to happen my job is not to scare you but to warn you my job is to make you understand how little little things is going up to it a lot of people come and tell me but i do the sudoku i do the wordle i do the straddle i do all these puzzles that's keeping my memory intact that's keeping my brain's power intact is that enough the answer absolutely is no it's good to have that keep doing that but let me share you secrets of what a good memory entails i was just on a show and a podcast with uh, cognition and memory and we were talking about is multivitamins required for a good memory? Are antioxidants required for good memory? What really is happening? And a couple of statistics came forth and let me share with you those statistics. The first glaring statistic was you and me doing nothing at all. Okay, we are not doing anything. Every 10 years, 5%, 5% of our brain is lost. It's shrinking, it's atrophying. So after the age of 65, if my chance of getting a dementia or a memory problem was 5%, it will become three times more or four times more after the age of 75, which means technically the brain's job is that it is decaying. We are aging, brain is aging. By the way, some of you who want to understand what is your brain's fitness score, Go ahead and check in the comment section below and get your brain fitness score done. Our lab has worked upon it and we have come out with this brain fitness thing. If your score is under 50, start working with all the things that I'm going to tell right now. If it's between 50 and 60, it's okay. But if it's 60 and above, you're doing a great job with your health and lifestyle. So coming back to this memory, yes, the brain will decay. The brain will shrink. The brain's 
cells are atrophying. We cannot stop that. But what we can do is play to them, is to make them where they are. If we do that, our memory will not be impacted over time. Our mood will not be impacted over time. Our judgments will remain intact. And I often, you know, say this, that if you have a very big, healthy body, yes, you have all the muscles right there. You are like a macho of this. But what if this goes off? What if this goes off mentally? What if this goes off uh, brain-wise? You will still be handicapped and paralyzed. So you have to take care of the entire axis. Coming back to memory. Now, why do people say, oh, I forgot this, I forgot that? Google effect. I immediately would go to the Google and I know where my answer lies. Or possibly in future, it's going to be the chat GPT effect because I, I want to think strategically something. Why should I think? I just give it a prompt and I say, behave like a neuroscientist and think about this. And the chat GPT is giving me that answer. Perfectly fine. But in that process, we are stopping the exercise of the brain. So in the memory, understanding the memory is extremely simple. Let me give you the four steps what is happening in the memory. The first thing, attention. I have to attend to remember. Please remember that. The second stage, I have to have uh, the registration. Whatever you're talking to me, I'm talking to me, I need to register it. Next thing, I need to code it. I need to store it and the last stage I need to retrieve it. I need to bring it back. So it starts with attention, registration, coding, storing and retrieval. Very, very, very simple. There are multiple brain parts which are part of it. The entire thing is being taken care by that certain processes, particularly hippocampus, very important. Prefrontal cortex, part of the prefrontal cortex, extremely important for that memory. Most people, most people who come and tell me my memory is an issue, I say, look at your attention. They say the attention is reducing, diminishing. I think now you need to catch the attention of the audience in 10 seconds. Wow, I mean, before it was 30 seconds and then now they say possibly five to six seconds particularly for kids, even more diminishing. So attention is the new cognitive reserve, which we need to talk about it. So very important to start focusing on attention. If your mood is not right, if you're feeling very low, if you're feeling very dull, if you're feeling depressed, unmotivated, you will not remember. So memory also has to be taken in the light of your being active in the sense of your mood as well. Very, very important, four things which are important in your memory function to optimize that memory function. Sleeping, eight hours of minimum sleeping is required because when you go to sleep at night, all the bad chemicals allowing you to have that dementia is getting rid. It's called the glymphatic system. It's taking those toxins away. So eight hours of sleep. Number two, eating enough antioxidants in your diet. And if your diet is not good, which is not giving you those fresh fruits, vegetables, organic stuff, by the way, if it's not happening, take a tablet, take a pill, which can give you all of that. The latest study on Centrum has been quite popular. I love that study because all the evidence is pointing to quite a significant benefit in stalling or play toing that effect. Number third, very important thing is being active and doing something every day which you like, which is sort of actually hands-on, not virtual. We did talk about the digital effects. We did talk about the dopamine overdose. So very, very important that you're doing it actively, something where you are engaging your attention, your focus, everything is there. And the fourth, extremely important thing is social connections. I talked about a number called Dunbar number. Dunbar is a scientist who studied that social connotation with the number of five, five close contacts, uh, 10 relatively close contacts, 15 friends, 25 family members, extended family members, very, very important to connect to them so that the brain is engaged. Currently, America, as they say, the latest statistics is going through loneliness pandemic. People are not living with people 
there is a chance that most people would be suffering from depression or mood issues or dementia just because they feel lonely. So very, very important to be having the right company, associations, doing the right things, eating the food right and sleeping a minimum of eight hours. There's lots to talk in the sleep, but a minimum of eight hours allowing you to have the cleansing, the clearing. It's like roads, you know, when I go to the Dubai roads the next day, municipality has cleaned and everything is just right. Exactly the same way that can happen as well. There are lots of other memory tricks and hacks. I will keep uh, giving that and sharing that more, but I will teach also in the sense of a course. So we will bring out a memory course very soon. And all of you who are interested, please do keep uh, writing to us, give your contacts and we will be in touch soon because we want each of you to have an amazing memory not be dependent on the gadgets or have the Google effect and have the right brain so that till the 100 years of your life, health span and brain span goes together.